Hello, I'm Brian Cohen of The Gate, and this is Matthew Cohen. I forgot your name for a second. Well, anyway. Well, since we've been in a pandemic for, what, 20 months now or something like that, it's uh, very hard to travel. And one of the things that people like to do when they travel to New York is have a frankfurter or a hot dog. And the place to get it is Nathan's. Nathan's has been around since 1916, so 105 years. And they just had their hot dog eating contest last month. And there was a new world record set for that, but I digress. So when I saw that in the local supermarket, they had both Coney Island bagel dogs and Coney Island pretzel dogs from Nathan's, I thought, that's pretty intriguing. Why don't we just give it a try? Now, you've been to Nathan's. The last time you were there was in 2007, though. But Nathan's has been a family tradition in my family growing up in Brooklyn. It's the only non-kosher hot dog I'll even consider eating. So when I saw that it came in bagel form and pretzel form, I figured I just had to try it. The instructions were weird. You had to microwave them for 60 seconds, I guess just to get them going. And then you had to put them in an oven for between three and five minutes, maybe even six minutes, depending on how soft or how crispy you wanted the frankfurters. We both wanted it crispy, so I left them in there for a while. And uh, I have some mustard on the side, but I think we're going to try them plain first. The one with the uh, seeds on it is the bagel dog. And this one is the pretzel dog. Which one do you want to try first? I'm going to try the bagel one first. All right, let's do that. You want to do the frankfurter end sticking out or the other end? Let's do this end first. Let's do this end first, OK. What do you think? It's interesting. It tastes like there's butter in it or something. Yeah. I smelled that though before. I was I was wondering what yeah, that I was. Yeah, I was yeah. I mean Alright. Well I'm glad we did this one first. Save save hopefully the better one for, for less. Let's try the next one. This is the pretzel one. Ready? One second. Okay. You whenever you're ready. Alright, let's go. Is it me or mm, if not you? Okay. When you go to New York, <laughs> <laughs> what's so funny? When you, <laughs> when you go to New York, I don't expect butter on my hot dog, and I don't expect butter on my bagels unless I order it that way, in which I wouldn't. So let's let's take a look here. The, for the pretzel one, it's pretzel dough enriched unbleached wheat flour, which is wheat flour. Butter nice flavor. What, where? Let's see, it's the one. Butter flavor. So it, it's it's the right. it's the fifth main ingredient. Fifth. Wait, so wait a minute. The under, in, okay. On well, the bagel dog ingredients, is, is the, water is, is the, the second fifth. ingredient. Brown sugar, which is cane sugar, cane syrup. Yeah, this is one the is third ingredient. Enriched unbleached. Sugar, which is the fourth ingredient. Salt is the fifth. Butter flavor which contains maltodextrin and natural flavors. So this one, this one is enriched wheat flour. Okay. Water. Is it enriched, bleached, unbleached wheat flour? Unbleached. Okay. Water, sugar, that's three, fermented wheat flour, salt, I don't have butter, fermented wheat flour. butter flavor is six on here actually. It's sixth on here too. Why? Why would anybody? <laughs> That, what is the point? Why would you? Why would you take something? Why would you take something that's famous? Nathan's famous. I mean, when I was in Coney Island, I never got butter on mine. I never got butter on mine. Why would? They, why? <laughs> These things came individually wrapped for freshness. Freshness. Yeah. Well. Uh, <laughs> freshness. All right. You know what? <laughs> Oh, I know. I need some water. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, well, all right. Yeah. Go get. Some, um, go ahead. That, so you want me to get you some water? 
Um, no, I'll get a drink in a few minutes. Why in the world? Coney Island. When you think Coney Island hot dogs, Coney Island frankfurters, Coney Island, you don't think butter. I mean, here, they even have the picture of the cyclone on here. Why would, you don't have butter while you're on the cyclone, why would you? Wow. Anyway, um, I got these uh, buy one, get one free at the local supermarket. Uh, came out to, I believe, $9 or something like that for both. So that means that each of these cost $8.99 or so. Not worth it. Not even worth half price. Why would anybody, well, maybe the mustard will try it. Let's try it with the mustard. Right. What, what do you think? Okay, so, you know what? Um, I have to say that I smell the bagel, I smell the pretzel, the if Nathan's... The, if the butter was off of it, I'm sure. If the butter was off better. of it, this would be a lot better. Because the texture is really nice. What do you think? It is a good texture. It's a good texture. It's a good consistency. And you know, even even though we didn't go, for, even though we went for crisp, it's still nice and the bread is still it nice. Is, it is nice and moist on the interior. Yeah. Not so much moist, but uh, just, it's not crunchy or anything like that. It's It's got a good blend of... Um, of uh, soft, soft inside, crisp outside. The frankfurter seems to be true to form, but to ruin it with butter. I mean, the hot dog itself is uh, is is decent. It's... Mm, we're gonna try it with some mustard here. I'm gonna try it. Did I say some mustard? I'm going to try a lot of mustard. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me when. Or you can put it on yourself. Just to drown out that butter. Yeah. Let's see if it's any better that way. I have some sauerkraut just in case, but... Wow. All right, which one are you trying first? Pretzel? Yeah, let's do the pretzel. That way the bagel will... <laughs> the bagel's got a little less. Mustard helps, but I can still taste some butter. How does must how does butter cook through mustard? It's better though. It's better with the mustard. Better than before. Right, let's do the bagel. Let's do the bagel. No. Mm. Hmm. I can still taste that butter. What I noticed on that bite was it seems to be on the underside here, that butter. No, you can't see it. You can smell it, though. It doesn't seem as evident on the top. Like when you, you know, when you go, but when I, it, it, you could, you could, it just seems to be a stronger fake butter. It's not even real butter. It says butter flavor. And natural, well, it says... What, is it, what does it exactly say? It contains maltodextrin and natural flavors. Yeah, which doesn't, natural flavors doesn't mean natural butter flavor. Um, I guess it's supposed to be like an everything bagel. <coughs> the butter? Y yes, like the mustard taste went away eventually, but the, bus <laughs> but, but the butter stayed. <laughs> the butter's got a really horrible aftertaste. <laughs> Alright, so the beef bagel <laughs> dog is supposed to be... Uh, a frankfurter wrapped in bagel dough. It's supposed to have sesame seeds, dehydrated garlic, dehydrated onions, poppy seeds, and caraway seeds. There's not much of that on here. Like, there's a caraway seed, there's a poppy seed, there's a couple of little garlic and... I got some sesame seeds down here. But it, they really skimped on that. I don't really mind that because it's not supposed to be the star of the show. The it's butter is the, what's the star of the show and that really ruins it. You want to try one more? Of which one? Of um, either one. I just okay. figured I'd give you some mustard or something because I'm gonna I'm gonna try once more with both of these. All right. This is. Um, I think I got enough butter on or enough, but well, I mean, but yeah. Do you need more butter? No, we got enough butter. <laughs> we got no, I'm more. sorry. Do you need more butter flavor? Yeah, sure. We don't have enough butter flavor. <laughs> 
It's not even butter. It doesn't even smell like real butter, you know? It's like, I don't even know what maltodextrin is. All right. We'll try one more time just to... Are you passing the mustard for... Uh, I think I have enough mustard on this one, but this one probably needs a little more to drown out. You know what? With these, you can't have too much mustard. Mm. I mean, you'd probably cover this entire plate with mustard and submerge both of these in mustard. Still wouldn't be enough. Yep. I need the mustard to kill the butter, which is sad. I, yeah, I don't, honestly, I might get mostly mustard on it's this It's really one. sad. I gotta get some drink. You uh, mm -hmm. say how, which, how you feel about that. <laughs> Mustard flavor is just about gone. And I taste butter for the butter flavor again. Okay, this so is this is ridiculous. Okay, so, I don't know, do you remember your experience at Nathan's when you were there? Yeah, I do. I remember the hot dog tasting good, and I remember wanting more. Right. This one, I don't feel like I want more. So, if you were to rate this from 1 to 10, what would you think? What would you... 1 being... 1 being worst. And 10 being 10 being best. best, I would say. I don't know, that butter is just, that butter flavor is just awful. Um, yeah. I don't know, I'd give it like a two. Maybe one for the consistency of the bun. Maybe another point for, you know, maybe the hot dog within. How, but, how, how well do you think the uh, Frankfurter was cooked? I mean, I mean, it was cooked. Okay. Yeah, you know, but you know, we're analyzing the whole thing here, so. And, and, and honestly, most of our comments have come for the bun. We barely had any comments for the actual yeah. Frankfurter. <clears throat> yeah, so... so uh, so what do you think of the, the actual frankfurter? I think um, I would have liked for it to be cooked a little more, maybe. Um, but because it's, the, it's acceptable, though. Oh, uh, definitely acceptable. It's not the uh, it's not what you the consistency you would get at Nathan's in Coney Island, but it's um, no, it's not absolutely. It's not. definitely not that consistency because Nathan's in Coney Island. And I mean, keep in mind, this is also a frozen food. This is never going to be as as good as what it's like in Coney Island. That is true, and. Uh, for Nathan's to even put their name on this is just disappointing. I just, you know. Yeah, it's two completely different hot dogs. So if I, if I were to rate this from one, um, one to ten, I'd probably give it a two out of ten. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I would. Because um, just, just, just grabbing another drink. Because that, I mean, that butter flavoring just ruined the thing. I agree. So, I would say. Mm. Excuse me, I'm gonna grab another drink. You go right ahead. Okay, so what I would say is I think the consistency of the both the bagel and the pretzel is for a frozen food pretty spot on. I would say that the flavor, if the butter was not there, would be, I wouldn't say exactly a home run, but almost there. But the butter just totally destroyed the whole thing. I don't even what genius in the marketing department decided, you know, this flavorful, famous hot dog and the pretzel or the bagel is not enough. We need to add butter flavor. Should be fired. <laughs> so that's our review. I would give it a, um, I'd give it a three. Three out of ten. Yeah, sure. Overall. Yeah, we're right around yeah. the same. Yeah, the mustard definitely helped, but... I won't buy these again. But the mustard only temporarily helped, and then the butter comes back. And the butter comes back to haunt you. You're right. It's like why? But so if you love if you love artifact, get some popcorn, and then eat popcorn after you eat these to not let that artificial butter flavor go to waste. These are horrible with the butter. They would be a whole lot better without that butter flavor. Although you know there's a lot of sugar in here too, and I guess that's because of it. I, I would not buy these again. Yeah. There's more sugar in here than there is butter flavor. So the nutrition facts, these are 350 calories. This one's 360. Oh, okay. So 350 for that, 300, why is that in big numbers and that's in, all right. Anyway. 
this is 350 calories, that's 360 calories. Um, there's one, the, for one serving, and there's four to a box. Four of these come to a box. One serving, so you get, it's 37% of your sodium in a day. That your daily recommended for uh, for the bagel. That's 880 milligrams of sodium for the bagel dog it's 35 percent and it's 800 milligrams. Okay, so the bagel dog's a little better. I don't know why, because pretzel. Well, anyway, um, I mean pretzels have more. Salt it's got there. it's got 35 grams of total carbohydrates. That's uh, from the dietary fiber, the sugars, and it's got quite a bit of sugar in it. This Five one, grams of sugar. This one's 36 grams of carbs and. Uh, the sh sugars is three grams, includes three grams. Does it have any trans fat? One gram. One gram, too, which is not the good fat. Uh, I, it, I, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Do yourself a favor. If you see this in the grocery store, avoid it. Don't buy it. For The Gate, I'm Brian Cohen. I'm Matthew Cohen. And thank you for watching.